Hello and welcome. In today's screencast, we'll show you two more ways you can speed up your internet connection to help make sure you're making the most of your high-speed broadband link through a cable or DSL modem. Along the way, you'll be checking how fast your machine runs, changing and updating software and system settings, and then rechecking your network speed to see what impact your changes have made. To begin with, let's take a look at how fast your internet connection is running right now. Open Internet Explorer. Navigate to www.internetfrog.com. Click on the link that reads Test the Speed of Your Connection in the Quick Tools area on the right of that page. This tool uses Java, so you may be asked to install Java if it's not already running on your machine, or to update some Java-related tools if they need it. Carry that process to completion, and you'll see a screen similar to the one now showing. It rates the download speed at 2.96 megabits per second, and the upload speed at 263 kilobits per second. Write these numbers down somewhere, because you'll be comparing them with identical measurements at the end of this screencast. Next, you're going to alter some TCP IP settings for Windows XP. By default, Windows XP sets a value called the Receive Window, also known as RWIN, too low for modern high-speed internet links. If you change the default to something bigger, you will probably also observe faster internet performance. A special utility called the Tweak Tester is available at www.dslreports.com slash tweaks. And it's also Java-based, like the Internet Frog Speed Tester, so the same requirements for Java support apply here as well. To run the Tweak tool, scroll down the page until you see the Tweak Tester 2 pane, inside which you must click the Start button. You may have to click a second time, because the first click often simply activates the Java window. You'll see several status messages flash past, concluding with End OK, press Results button. Follow that instruction to produce the Tweak Tester result window shown. Fill in its fields as follows. Service. Pick your service type from the drop-down list. In our example, we're using cable. Download speed kilobits per second. Pick your ISP's maximum download speed capability, 10,000 in this example. Operating system. Pick your PC's operating system, Windows XP in our case, and connection. Pick your connection type, normal in this example. Next, click the Recommend button. This produces a set of results in three left to right columns. The first column shows your current settings and recommends possible changes to RWIN. The second shows the results of the test run, and the third shows whether or not your system responds to pings. We're really only concerned about the first column, Notes and Recommendations, from which you should write down the recommended RWIN values. Now click on the link that reads Download Use DRTCP and then click Run in the File Download window that pops up in Reply. Here again, you may have to grant explicit permission to execute because DRTCP is not digitally signed. If that's the case, please do so. In the Dr. TCP window that pops up in Result, enter a value equal to the greatest value from that source. Then click the Save button to retain that setting in your Windows registry. This completes the third of our four speed-up steps. Finally, you'll want to install Google's free Web Accelerator to speed up web page downloads. Point your web browser to www.google.com slash options. And then click on the Web Accelerator link at the bottom of the right-hand list of options on that page. Click the Download Now button, let Windows XP download the file, then click the Run button on the File Download window and grant the program permission to run.
This concludes our fourth and final speed up step. To see how much good these changes have done, you can return to internetfrog.com to run the speed test again. Before you do so, however, you must disable Google Web Accelerator. The tool won't run if the Google Accelerator is active on your machine. To do that, right-click either on the Web Accelerator icon in your system tray, it looks like a speedometer, or the one in the upper left corner of your Internet Explorer window. Then click the Stop Google Web Accelerator entry in the resulting pop-up menu. When you run the Internet Frog speed test again, you may see improvement much like what we experienced in our test run, where our original download speed increased from 2.96 to 2.99 megabits per second, and upload speed from 259 to 263 kilobits per second. For a relatively modest effort, you can indeed make more out of your Internet connection. Please go to digitallanding.com for more information, other screencasts, and articles about your digital lifestyle.